Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Fixing to run something through the chop saw. Uh, I've been working on Crimson Singularity over here. This is a new commission for a, a law firm up in Denver. And as you can see, it's, you know, it's pretty convoluted. So, you know, the poor little MIG gun gets turned around and all kinds of different directions trying to work in here. And I went from the, uh, the 030 wire that I was using and I dropped down to 023, you know, just to try to put a little less metal up there. So I don't have to come back and grind up quite so much. And what I got was a lot of sticking, you know, spinning, popping, you know, the wire hanging up inside. It just didn't want to feed. So I thought, well, wait a minute, let me try this. Hook the wire over my elbow so this portion of it's straight and all the problems went away. Okay. So inside this heavy cable, you know, this uh, rubber liner here, there's actually a little Teflon tube down inside there that the wire runs through from the machine all the way up into the gun and then out the end. Well, what happens is, especially if it gets you know, in this position a lot, is that little Teflon liner gets a little V cut in it after, oh, I don't know, eight or nine, you know, eight or 80 or 90 pounds worth of wire that's been through this machine. So it's time to change it. So I can either, you know, on, on some machines, you can just pull the liner out, put a new liner in. Well, I called Longevity. Longevity said, no problem. We got a brand new gun sitting here. You know, we'll put it in a box and send it to you. So that's what I'm gonna do now is just change out the gun so I can get back to work on this. What well, welder are you using, Kev? Oh, this is the Longevity uh, Pro MTS 200. You know, the, using the MIG portion of it, obviously. Um, great big little machine. Love this little machine. So inside the machine is really pretty simple. You got your drive roller assembly right here. You just flip off the little spring tensioner on it and flip the upper roller out of the way and you can just back off that wire and get it out of the way. Make sure you hang on to this end until you hook it on the spool so it doesn't turn into a big rat's nest. Been there, done that. And then with this one, it's just the Euro connection on the outside. Out with the old. And in with the new. So for an operation like this, you know, when you're changing the gun, or even like when you're just putting new wire in it or something, I always just pull the nozzle off, get it out of the way, and let's go ahead and get the it's going to get the tip off. So it's a little easier to feed the, the wire up through the gun and then into the, uh, into the tip itself. You, know, you can always put this back on later. Just makes it a little easier on the machine. Always stretch this gun out when you're going to put new wire in it like this. Because, and even when you're welding, you know, try to keep this cable stretched out as much as you can. Don't have a curl lying on the floor you know, where you're trying to weld because now you're just forcing that wire around and around you know that's how you wear out the liners quicker you know because you've got that wire in a bind inside there so we'll just stretch this guy out plug the machine in and just turn the wire speed all the way up and then just pull the trigger it'll work its way through so let me feed the wire in and then i'll show you that part and sometimes this portion of it takes a certain amount of tongue stuck out of the side of your mouth to help you think. Uh, especially when you've got big fingers. And you can see just, you know, into the end of the nozzle right there. Or into the end of the cable, rather. And I just feed it through a little bit, close it back up. And then we just go ahead and fire the machine up, pull the trigger, feed it on through. You turn it up all the way when you're doing this? Yeah, you just try to turn it up all the way to you know the max feed rate. Leave your bottle shut off, you know, and just pull the trigger. So with that all set up, we can just flip the machine on and run around the front, and crank that wire speed up. Wire speed all the way up. Now it's still set on MIG, 
still set on 2T steel and set on 030. You just got it cranked all the way up. So now simply through the magic of being in two places at once, we can just pull the trigger and it'll start feeding. And you just start singing that uh, song from Jeopardy in your head, you know, waiting for it to come. What, <laughs> how long does it take for it to get all the way to the end? I don't know, I've never really timed it, but you know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, something like that. So you, you, feel, you can feel it, you know, the gun starts to get a little heavier and you can feel it start working its way up through there. Ta-da! Now we just put the tip back on it. Again, holding your tongue just right. Put the nozzle on, you know, trim off the end just a little, little dab of anti-spatter gel on it. Grab your helmet and gloves, get back to work. So I think I will. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Oh! Oh wait, look right over there, or maybe over there. See that subscribe button? Give it a click for me, will you? I want to make sure it works on my end. And don't forget to come to my website, sign up for my newsletter. We'll see you all next time. The, the Clooney side, yeah. yeah, instead of the Brad Pitt side. Yeah. It's the smart Alex side. Well, that's it. Yeah, okay.